Welcome back to Cash Kicks TV. We are back with a new video and I'm very excited because I think I just got my best pickup. And not only of this year, but in a long, long time. And I can't wait to show you guys the quality of this shoe. I'll tell you guys a little bit on the background of getting it. But before we get into that, like we always say, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Help grow Cash Kicks TV to 5,000 subscribers. I know we're going to get there one day, but let's try to take it there one day at a time. But you can all help us get there by just hitting that subscribe button. If you enjoy the video at the end, in the middle, whatever, hit that like button. And let's get straight into this video right now. All right, you guys. So the Air Jordan 185 Georgetown. Now, some of you guys actually might be on this video for the same reason why I checked out um, a review of this shoe on YouTube. And that was because I opened up the package and I seen this box. And I was not expecting this box at all. Some of you guys must have seen by now a lot of the mids and whatever uh, Jordan 1s, lows. They usually and sometimes, we're going to say sometimes, come in a box like this. So I was like, oh no, they got me. Listen, this is how scared I was. I couldn't even open to look. I just had to run to YouTube and wanted to see a review and needed to see this box. Soon as I seen the YouTuber, Wear Testers, a good channel I like to watch. Um, soon as I seen him pull this box out, I ended the video. I'm like, okay, I could, I could look. So if you see this box, you don't got a fake. They didn't mess you up and give you a mid. It's just a box it comes with. All right? Comes with a bunch of packaging. Not really anything special other than this packaging here is pretty dope. So already you could tell you're getting a quality Jordan with the way they package the shoe. And yeah, that's exactly what you're getting with this one. We've got the Jordan logo and um, the 23 all over the, um, and the Jumpman all over the packaging, which was pretty dope. Um, before we even get into the shoe, I don't know where I put it. Oh no, I really wanted to show you guys this. Here it is. Alright. I got my shoes from GOAT, and guys, this is not, I'm not getting paid from GOAT to say this. So this is coming from the love of the shoes and not the love of the money. This is why I mess with GOAT. It gives you how your shoe is verified. So this is just the authenticity portion so it goes over the authentication you got the color shape they check it off one by one to show you that your shoe is legit and as you can see it passed all 10 tests that it's done and you know honestly even though i do go through goat or you go through stock x sometimes you still have that feeling you want to make sure it's real because sometimes and i've heard of mistakes they've made but this, with this shoe one, I could tell this is real or fake just by me holding the shoe. So if you need to get these checked, I could check them for you just by literally holding the shoe. I don't need anything. I don't need to check nothing else. I could, that's how good the quality is on this shoe. It's just so heavy. Let's honestly get into it right now. I actually want to show this there. But something cool by Go. Go. We messed with it. A couple of my packages from you guys have not come with this. Make sure you continue to do this because it makes me feel even extra secure when you guys put this in my shoe. And we're gonna go to this pair for a little bit just because, to show you a little bit of the details that come with the shoe. I'm pretty sure these shoes came with um, the Jordans back in the day. You see the name of the Jordan, Air Jordan 85. That's when Jordans first debuted. Pretty sure it came with something like this. You can see like Jordan, this is like the original of the original. So cool when they add little details like that and it has a little sketch of the Jordan one. and. I didn't even read it, but Dare Jordan was inspired by High Fly Acrobatics of Michael Jordan, Pro Basketball's hottest new star, blah, 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 blah. Cool details to the shoe. And then, of course, we got the extra navy blue lace. This is how you guys know I was excited for this pair because I didn't even get a chance to lace these. When I don't lace them and I get straight to a video, I'm excited to show you guys this. So let's go on the pair that doesn't have the lace and the little article. Guys. They 100% nailed it on this shoe. Now, some of you guys may have said, how could you tell by just holding the shoe you know it's real or not? Guys, this shoe is heavy. It feels like a 
20 pound dumbbell like bro this shoe is a heavy shoe so if i was to feel fake i could just tell by the lightness of the shoe that it's not legit after holding this one that's the first thing right and honestly it's gonna be kind of hard to match the quality of the shoe like i was looking whenever i get a shoe i look for small little flaws up to now i have not been able to find one on this shoe literally not one not no little piece of um fluff sticking out or you know what i mean like there's literally no flaw on this shoe you know what i'm saying so they killed it in that regard honestly some people may not even really like this shoe i think this shoe is going to hit a lot harder for the ogs because they gave you that og feel to the shoe hence the 85 part even down to the tongue, you can see the tongue's a little bit of a different color. It's not actually a white, it's more of like an off-white beige-ish. And honestly, in pictures, I thought it was kind of weird. But they're just trying to give you that old school, dirty, but you know, clean feel. And that's kind of what the off-white brown brand was bringing to you. So that's definitely the vibes I get from the tongue. But that's pretty much it when it comes to the old school the rest of it honestly it looks like a regular jordan one to me the colorway is dope you know jordan's always paying homage to his competitors and that's what he did in this one with the georgetown colorway and honestly they 100 percent nailed it look at that perfect swoosh every I, i'm in love with the shoe like sometimes you get shoes and you're like i can't picture ruining the shoe or going outside and messing it up this one needs to be seen by the world it's honestly that perfect like, I've never, honestly, in a while, felt so positive and good about a shoe. But this one has really, really did that for me. Um, I was able to get these for, I believe it was $500 on GOAT, which is kind of expensive. But honestly, there's no really other option for us, especially in Canada. I don't even know when these drop. We don't know release dates anymore. Like, it's rather they're way late or sometimes they're even early from the date that was listed. So you kind of just, if you want to go get something, just go see what you can get on Go. That's kind of how I play it. Or if I go in a store and I happen to see something, that's just pretty much what it is right now in the, in, in the sneaker road. But, oh my gosh, just, oh, this leather is just so soft, man. Like, they honestly killed it with these shoes. I'm so happy I was able to add this to the collection. Not only is it a dope colorway, obviously it's a Jordan 1 and... Jordan 1's, man. Dumb and 4's, they just, they have a different spot in my heart. So if you're thinking about a shoe that you really want to blow the bag on, or a shoe, you're trying to wonder if this shoe is worth the price tag, I would say yes for two reasons. The quality is different. Like, this is like a real luxury Jordan shoe. Like, you know what I mean? I don't want to boost it, but I kind of feel like I'm holding, I held them. I don't have them, but I held them. It kind of feels like the Dior ones, honestly. It really does. And the second reason is because no one really has these. I was trying to buy them from someone from out here. Literally no one had them. Not one person. When I was, that, that made it 100%, you know what I mean? I got to get them now. I couldn't find one person selling them. So that's why I know not many people over here got them. So when I wear them, it's going to hit even different. And that's what really made me pull the trigger on these and say, you know what? I don't care about the price point. It's not in the thousands. It's not ridiculous. For me, it's affordable. So I went and grabbed it. And I'm very happy with the selection. I'm very happy with how fast they delivered it. Under a week to my door. Stuff that GOAT does. And like I say, GOAT does not pay me to say things like that. But if you do good business and you you know what I mean, your your service is, is very well done. I'm going to, you know what I mean? I'm going to express that in my videos because I want you guys to have good outlets to get shoes that are reliable. And that's exactly what gold is to me. So that's pretty much it, man. I'm very happy I was able to add these to the collection. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We're on our way to 5,000 subscribers, man. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that post notification um, button so you don't miss my next video. And that's pretty much it. I'm Cash Kicks TV. And I'll catch you guys next time.